Welcome to Palenque episode three, waterfalls. So right after seeing the Mayan ruins, we got in our little tour bus and we headed to Misol Ha waterfalls. And you can see where it is on the map here. It's very close to Palenque, about a 40 minute ride in the car. And after Misol Ha, which you'll see some pictures and videos coming up here, we head to Cascadas Agua Azul, which you can also see on the map here, a little further south. Here we've come to Miso Miso Waterfalls. And wow, they're really strong today. Wow, look at the force of this waterfall. There's a small one next to us too. As we got near the base of the waterfall, we decided it'd be a great place to get some pictures. We had to make sure we didn't get wet, but we did a pretty good job. And you get some great views here of Misalha waterfall and us standing near the waterfall. people swimming. Well, Kyler was starting to get a little bit hungry after all of this walking around. And we saw some people at this restaurant on the site eating corn on the cob. It looked delicious. So we followed their trail and found there was a little corn stand on the way to the waterfall actually. And so we stopped and bought corn on the cob there. Our next stop is Agua Azul, and you can see on the map here where it is in relationship to Palenque, and then on the next map here where it is in relationship to Tuxa Gutierrez. It's about six hours away. Here we are at Agua Azul. These waters are known for having nice different shades of blue and turquoise and emerald. It's a busy day out here. A hot day. Agua Azul and all of its glory. We were just swimming, but a little bit further out where it's safer. Another lookout point at the Agua Azul. Lots of handcrafted things for sale. Really, really close to this waterfall here. Look at that. Power of nature. Here I am with the waterfalls behind me. Listen to the birds. Look at how tall the trees are. Well, this time I was starting to get hungry myself. So this street looked really, really enticing. There were a lot of people selling it. Mango on a stick with lime and salt. Delicious. Look how they cut it so beautifully. Headed toward our final stop, Roberto Barrio Waterfalls. 
And on the map here, you can see that these waterfalls are a little bit south and east of Misol Ha. Check out these falls. This is just the base of about three or four waterfalls, large ones. You can get a view here. You can see way at, there's a way at the top. There's a big waterfall and I climbed over all of those rocks all the way to the top. It's never deep. You just have to be careful climbing because some of the, the rocks have moss covering them so they're a little slippery. Nice area to swim. That's got us. Check out these falls. Before heading back, our tour guide encouraged us to have a meal at the restaurant near the waterfalls. She said that we wouldn't be stopping on our way back, which was a seven hour trip, so we should definitely have something to eat. So I ordered this plate of delicious fresh fish, black beans, rice, sliced cucumber, tomato, onion, and avocado. After the long bus ride, we actually made a stop in San Cristobal de las Casas and mainly because we arrived at night and we thought it'd be safer to complete the rest of our journey during the daytime. So we stayed at this wonderful hostel called Casa Tequillo and we had the most delicious breakfast there. It's most well known for its breakfast. So if you get a chance to go there, I highly recommend it. This is our room there, which was nice and spacious with very comfortable beds and blankets.